Hello, I'm Antoine, and uh, I've been a committee member for quite some time, and I, I love KubeCon because it's a great occasion to engage new description. And often I'm asking, for example, why, why are you using Kubernetes? And the answer is kind of unanimous is to manage uh, our application, you know, services, workload. But that's all means the same. And sometimes I dive a little bit and ask, like, what's an application Kubernetes for you? How do you manage them? And there's, a, there's like much more uh, variation and answer. So, for example, it could be a set of Kubernetes resources, deployment, config map that define my application. Uh, some are using M uh, or package manager like HEM, so we use M chart or customize. And I see also a train, for example, to create a new namespace per application. And basically, the application uh, uh, is all the resources inside the namespace. So deleted an application would mean deleting to namespace. So what does that mean to have so many kind of different answer? It means like there is no really a concept uh, in Kubernetes of an application. And that's a little bit of a paradox because we see the main usage of Kubernetes to manage application, but yet we don't have a definition of application. And this is why with CGAPS, uh, we, we have built uh, a new resources called application. It starts as a six project, so it's a CRD for now. And we try to be very simple and use uh, concepts uh, already existing. So we're using just um, label selector to match all uh, resources that belong to an application. Because this is, in the answer, this is what we, we can see, like the common ground is like an application is not one resource, it's like all the resources that are needed by the application. So we use just the label selector and the CRD and the controller will just find all uh, matching resources. And in, a, in order to build UI and better user experience, we add also a bit of uh, description of the application, for example, icon, uh, version, et cetera. So that's have to build a very nice UI on top of that. Now, application uh, resource become your entry point for the cluster. And you can just do kubectl get application, for example, and you see all what's running in your, uh, in your cluster. And some interesting feature could be also to have like a cascade deletion. So you would just do kubectl uh, delete application and every sub resource will be deleted together. And more interestingly also, we can uh, bubble up the status of all sub resources. For example, here in the last uh, column, we can see uh, which resources are, are, are ready or not. For example, the last app, there is one resource uh, not ready. And if you describe this application, you can immediately see uh, which resource is not ready instead of trying to search, is it the deployment, is it the, the PVC, et cetera, here you immediately see uh, what's going on for your application. So for example, Jiki have implemented it, uh, integrated this new resource and a uh, little by little more uh, dashboard and more uh, distribution are uh, adding to applications here. And for example, that's uh, cap nav, uh, same view, uh, different dashboard. And that's the main, main goal. Maybe you, you can think you, you already have this kind of feature in your distribution, but that's very customized, custom uh, built. And that's uh, the goal of this new CRT is to have a common definition so everyone can build UI on top and we still uh, maintain the interoperability so you can move from one distribution to another. Thanks for watching. If you have additional questions, you can join uh, CGAPS, uh, use uh, GitHub, and also directly join me on uh, Slack or Twitter. Thanks.